Hi everyone, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So today I am bringing you the March Petty War box. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this box and also a review of the February Petty War box. And I am an affiliate for Petty War, which means I am sent the box. But I, as always, will give you my honest opinions on the box and the products in the box. And also, if you do want to support Naturally Beautiful Girl, I do have affiliate links with Petty War, which means if you use those links, I make a small commission. It doesn't add any additional cost to you. It just helps to support my channel. And I have those not only for the box itself, but also for the Petty War shop if you want to shop on there. And if you've not subscribed to the box, I have a discount code for 25% off. It's NBG25. And that will give you 25% off your first box if you do a three month subscription. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. And I don't have all my makeup on because the first product in this month's box is a bronzing potion glow cream from uh, K Voss. We'd received a K-Voss um, plumping lip balm in, I don't know, a few boxes ago. This is the second product I've tried out from K-Voss and this is supposed to provide instant luminosity. Um, it's a cream that's supposed to just give a natural glow. You can use it without makeup just to kind of make your skin look bronzy and glowy. I think what I'm gonna try and do with it is kind of use it as like a cream bronzer slash blush. I normally don't open products and swatch them before filming, but this one I did because I wanted to see what it was like because I just had not really used a product like this before and I wanted to figure out how to incorporate it into this video. So I do have on foundation, but I'm gonna just apply it to like my kind of like back area of my cheeks and kind of use it as like a bronze uh, blush. I am kind of going for a no makeup makeup look today. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. It's kind of a um, comfy day today because I'm actually going to Ikea after I finish filming this because my husband and I are in the process of moving and I swear every time I move, it requires at least two Ikea trips. This is trip number one and I suspect there'll be a trip number two and hopefully not a trip number three because I'm gonna be tromping around Ikea and moving some uh, furniture. I'm going light and easy on the makeup today and this seems perfect. So this is a sample size, it's about 10 milliliters, but honestly with products like this, unless you're applying it all over your whole face, you don't go through it that quickly. So let's just go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna first swatch it for you here. Whoops, I got more than um, I needed. So I'm gonna just use some of this on my face, but here's what it kind of looks, a blob of it. And I'm gonna use that to apply some to my face. Okay, so I got it applied and I tried just using my finger on one side. I used my Real Technique stippling brush on the other side. And I have to say, this is just not my favorite product. I found it very difficult to work with, difficult to blend out. The cream itself was a bit sticky and I've tried out a lot of cream products, but this one was kind of thick and sticky. And I also feel like it picked up my foundation. I had a little bit of concealer over here on this side. It completely removed that. And I feel like it's blotchy and not blended out well. Um, I don't know, maybe my camera's making it look better than it is in real life, but in real life, I do not like it. It might go on better underneath um, makeup, or if you want to just use it without any makeup, that might be a better application for it. But I will say on top of makeup, I am not that much of a fan. You guys will have to let me know if it actually added any glow to my skin. I think my skin still looks pretty matte where I put it. Um, I'm using it on top of my Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation, which I have put so many cream products on top of this foundation. When I'm having issues blending out a cream product on it, I know that it is the cream product and not the foundation. So not my favorite. I'm gonna jump off camera for a second, wrap up the rest of my makeup, and then uh, share the rest of the box with you. Before I go ahead to talk about the other products in the box, I forgot to mention that the value of the Bronzing Potion Glow Cream is $20. So this box only really had sample sizes of products, which I thought was rather interesting. The next product I have is the Oil Cleanser, and this is from Kahina Giving Beauty. This is an oil makeup remover. You can use it as your first cleansing step. And I did try this out last night. Um, it doesn't dissolve in water. This is one where you have to use a warm cloth to remove the oil. 
but it did do a really good job of breaking down my makeup. So this is a great product. It just worked well. Um, it didn't really have much of a scent. So if you are sensitive to scent and want a very scent neutral product, this is definitely a very scent neutral product. It just worked well. I don't really have much else to say about it. This is a sample size as well. And the value of the sample size is $10. The next product I got in my box was the Little Barn Apothecary uh, Honeysuckle and Grapefruit Body Oil. And I actually was excited to see this because I've been wanting to try out more Little Barn Apothecary products in general. Um, they're now also being carried at Ulta Beauty, which at least at ultabeauty.com, I don't know if in stores. I really wanna try out more products that from brands that are easily accessible because I think so many non-toxic beauty products you have to like order online or go to a specialty retailer. And so I really like seeing products that are more easily accessible. So I did try this out this morning. Um, it's supposed to have a grapefruit honeysuckle scent. I don't know if I would describe the scent that way. I'm not getting much grapefruit. I'm getting more honeysuckle than I am grapefruit. Um, but I did use this on my legs this morning after I got out of the shower and it did feel really nice. Um, it doesn't absorb in the same way that a um, body lotion does because it is an oil. It kind of sits on your skin a little bit more. My legs feel really nice and I did use this after shaving. So my legs tend to get really dry and itchy after I shave, but so far they've been, they feel really good. I will have to test this out some more, but so far on my first impression, it was a really nice product to use and it wasn't overly thick and gloopy. It is a little bit more of a runny oil. Um, the only complaint I have is, I mean, I know this is a sample size, but it was a little bit messy dispensing it out of this bottle because when I went to pour it out, some of the oil like ran down the side of the bottle, which just created a little bit of a mess on my bathroom counter. But other than that, it's really nice. So it does have sesame seed oil in it, jojoba seed oil, um, Obviously it has honeysuckle and grapefruit in it as well. And the value of that sample size is $14. So we've been getting a lot of products from Andalou Naturals in our boxes recently. I think Andalou Naturals has kind of relaunched a lot of products or revamped products. And we've gotten their body lotion and their body butter, both products I loved. I was excited when I saw a shower gel from Andalou Naturals in the box, but I was also a little disappointed just because we've received so many Andalou Naturals products. I mean, I like Andalou Naturals, but we've had a lot of Andalou Naturals products. So I'll leave that out there. You can decide whether you are excited about that or not excited about that. This is their citrus sunflower shower gel. And I was excited when I smelled this because I love citrus scents and this is very citrusy. I gave it to my husband to smell and he thought it smelled like um, seven up. So <laughs> it's a very strong citrus scent. And I did use this in the shower this morning, but I have some thoughts about it. And the first thing, I, I think you can see it on the lid here. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, you can see it on the lid there. Do you see those like white flecks? So the shininess on the lid is from the shower gel itself, but there are like these white flecks stuck to the lid. I don't know if there's something wrong with my shower gel. If I got like a bad batch or it got like too hot or too cold or something in shipment, but my shower gel is kind of like separated. Um, there are these parts that have basically kind of precipitated out. Um, it, they're not soluble in the rest of the shower gel. And those are those white flecks and it smells okay. Um, and I did try it out in the shower. And when I tried to get it to suds up, it suds up fine. And those white flecks dissolved and were sudsy, but it looks really weird. And I don't, I think there's something wrong with it. Your soap shouldn't look like that. Something is not quite soluble and I don't know exactly what happened. I'm thinking maybe temperature or they have a bad formula. Um, hopefully not, because it says it's a new product. So hopefully they didn't release a formula that's not quite up to par. I did shake it thoroughly when I noticed this flex, but that the flex did not mix back in. They are definitely like precipitated out. If you guys get this in your box, let me know if you have white flex in yours as well. That was a little bit disappointing, made me a little bit sad about this product. And this is a sample size of the shower gel and the value of the shower gel is $2. And then I got this in the box and it's not listed on my card. So I don't know why I got this, but this is the Juice Beauty Green Apple Cleansing Bar. And I've gotten this before. It is a bar of soup. I really liked it. It works really well. It's really sudsy. It doesn't have much of a scent. So if you want a very low scent soap product, um, this is nice. 
I don't know what the value of this is because it didn't tell me on the card, but I've tried this before and I really liked it. So I was happy to get another one. Overall, the value of this box is $46 and the cost of the box itself is $18. So it's a pretty good deal. I will say Pretty Boar has had a lot of really awesome boxes recently. And this one is just not my personal favorite um, just because I'm not a huge fan of the bronzing cream. My shower gel has some issues. I do like the body oil and the cleansing oil, but it was a little bit of a disappointment overall for me. So I'm now gonna go ahead and do a review of the February Petty Boar box. I'm going to start off by talking about the Antonym Eyeliner. Um, I got the Antonym Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Brown, and I have it on my lower lash line today. I have been trying this out and I, like I mentioned in my February Petty Boar unboxing, this product is a product that has been really hyped in non-toxic beauty. Like I feel like everyone was talking about the Antonym eyeliner pencils. So I was excited to try this out and I like it, but I don't know if it was worth all that hype. And it might just be that I'm not the biggest pencil eyeliner person. And so I'm not as enthusiastic about it as other people have been, but it works well. I'm not sure that it really is any more smudge proof or long wearing than other eyeliners. Um, I have pretty watery eyes. At least right now, especially during winter, as it's so cold when I go outside, my eyes water a lot. And so no matter what eyeliner I use, it, including this one from Antonym, it tends to kind of fade um, on me throughout the day. So it's nice if you're looking for an eyeliner, it works well, um, but I'm not sure it's worth all the hype that it's been given. I like it, but it's not like a favorite for me. We also, in the February Petty Wear Box, we got the Shamanudi Seaweed Toner. And although it doesn't look like this, I have been testing this out. Um, I do really like it. It's really nice that it's not a floral scented toner because um, not everyone's a huge fan of rose water toners. But this one, the only complaint I have about it is the sprayer is super aggressive. So you can't just like mist it around your face. It kind of comes out in like a, like a jet. And what I end up having to do is then take my hands and then pat the toner actually around my face because I can't get a fine mist. So that's really my only complaint about it, but otherwise I really like it. It's not drying, it's not stripping, um, it actually feels hydrating, moisturizing. I think it's because one of the main ingredients is um, aloe leaf juice, which I'm really becoming a big fan of toners that have aloe as one of their first ingredients. I think it just really helps to moisturize your skin. So I like it. I will definitely continue using it. Um, if you are curious about this, I think it's a really great toner. The only caveat about it is the mister is very aggressive. I also have not actually gotten around to testing this out. This is the Formulary 55C Mineral Foot Soak. I got this in the February Petty Wear box. I just have been really busy and I honestly kind of forgot about it until I went to film this video. So I apologize. Um, I still obviously need to test it out. I just haven't. So I don't have any further thoughts to add about that. I'm failing a little bit at my job of being a YouTuber at the moment, but I apologize. If you guys have tried it, let everyone else know in the comment section down below. And then the final product we got in the February Petty War box was the Air NYC Tough Love Cuticle Balm. And this is probably my favorite product from the February Petty War box because I'm a huge fan of cuticle balms. I was using the one from birds and bees for years. And so I really like that this is a beeswax free vegan uh, version of that product. And it's great for just putting around your cuticles, but I also really like it because it's the kind of product that I also use like on my knuckles or my hands. Like if something on my body feels particularly dry, I can just use this wherever on my body. And it's really nice and small and compact. So it's easier for me to carry around than for instance, a tube of hand lotion. So I'm a fan of this. It really does moisturize well. The scent of it is quite pleasant too. It does have lavender in it. So to me, I get a very strong lavender scent, which I love lavender. So that works for me. This is my favorite product out of the um, February Petty Boar box. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my unboxing of the March box and my review of the February Petty Boar box. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the March box. Do you like it? Do you like the products in it? Do you not? Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more non-toxic cruelty-free content and also check out my Instagram. My handle's at naturallybeautifulgirl. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.